first, I just want to say thank you for 700 subscribers. It's crazy that we just hit 500 a month ago and we're already at 700. <laughs> you people are awesome. This video will be a 700 sub special explaining Pokemon Brick Runs and how it affected my channel. Bad and good. But it doesn't start with the recent days. No, we're gonna start when it all went down first. Almost three years ago in November 2019, I was listening to the Pokemon Brick Bronze OST because I missed the game and I thought its soundtrack was awesome. It is. Unbiased fact. I really liked the third gym leader Quentin's theme, but nobody extended it. And the loop function didn't exist until the beginning of 2022, so that was out of the question. I had started a YouTube five months prior, and I decided to download and extend the theme. I thought it was gonna get at least 100 views since nobody extended it before I did. Yeah. Two and a half months later, this thing hit a thousand views. After it hit around 2000 in February, I decided to extend the Team Eclipse admin theme, which also hadn't been extended. That is currently my most viewed video today, with over 39,000 views. I extended Professor Cypress's theme in April 2020 as well, but it didn't perform as great as the others since it already had been extended. And the reason I didn't just chuck out extensions one after the other was because I didn't enjoy making them like with my other videos. Let's use a current example for this comparison. My Pokemon Brick Bronze Best Starter video. This took around 4 hours to make, while these PVB extensions took more time for exporting than editing. The editing process would take like 5-10 to 10 minutes. It's really easy to extend any theme. You just... Find that time frame where the song loops, cut off the ending, and copy and paste until you get the length you want. This made me angry as I would make videos that took more effort and get less views. When I say less, I mean less than my sub count. And when I uploaded these extensions, my sub count wasn't even at 100 yet. My channel's growth was very slow outside of those extensions I just mentioned. Between May 2020 and May 2022, I didn't have any success comparable to those videos. My typical view range in early 2022 was 40 to 100, and in 2021 it was 10 to 40. I had 350 subs by the end of 2021, and although I had increasing sub growth through May and April this year, I didn't have any huge view growth. However, starting June 4th, everything changed. On June 4th, I made the video, Where Is It Now? Pokemon Brick Bronze in 2022. People were still watching my extensions, and I had seen that Pokemon Brick Bronze 2022 was a common search term among my viewers. I then made this commentary video, and it got way more views than I expected. It got like 200 views in 2 days, and it currently has 4,000 views. This thing managed to make its way into my top 10 videos within a couple of weeks. It's currently number 6. Afterward, I became a content creator for Project Bronze Forever's Discord so I could promote my videos even further. Seeing this video's growth made me realize something important. I had built an audience around Pokemon Brick Bronze by making those extensions, and this video recaptured that audience. The variety content I was making on this channel was just pushing that audience away. And that's why I didn't have any huge growth until now. I then went on to make more and more Brick Bronze content throughout June, and I actually put effort into these videos. Except for the Hoopa Fail one. That one was really rushed. Now, my analytics are at an all-time high, and things are looking great for my channel. I have you guys to thank for that. Your support for my channel is greatly appreciated, and I'll continue making content for you to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.